Hi, welcome back to my unboxing channel. So today I have a very interesting camera to show to you. This is a Rorel 35T. Um, I'm not actually quite sure how to pronounce this. Either Rorel, Rory, you know, uh, in the internet there are different pronunciations. But this version I have is for 35T. Um, it's one of the smallest uh, film camera so far and the version I have is made in Singapore um, basically there are two types made in Germany and made in Singapore so some say that uh, made in Germany have more value so that is why in uh, eBay and Amazon the price is almost double of compared to this uh, made in Singapore a bit of history of this product that they five well, um, the original Royal 35 when introduced in Photokina back in 1966 was the smallest existing 135 film camera. Um, it remains one of the smallest 35mm camera after Minox 35 and Minota TC1. And in uh, 30 years, about 2 million Royal 35 series camera were manufactured. That is why um, today, you can still get a very good piece of this camera in the market with almost look like new uh, mean quality so the difference between uh, Rorel 35 and Rorel 35S is actually the lens itself um, here this is 35T as you can see here it's 35T it's actually uh, the teaser lens teaser lens Aperture f2 3.5 whereas if you are getting a Royal 35 s it will be a sona f 2.8 this camera basically comes with two different colors either with silver or black i choose black because i like the way when it uh worn off some of the uh, the paint you can see some uh, yellowish coupon color very rustic feeling As you can see from top here, this is the shutter button, the winder here, and the light meter. And this thing here is for you to collapse the lens. Okay, let's look at the lens itself here. So what you do is you pull it out, and then you twist it a bit. to the right and then you when, until you hear the click sound okay now look back at here you have basically uh, two sides with different dial this is on the um, aperture itself and here the front part here is ASA so uh, later I'm going to load on this uh, black and white film 400 so I have to twist the ASA to 400. So let's twist it to 400 first. Oh, it's a bit hard to twist. So let's twist it to 400. Yep, after this is 400 and here is the aperture setting. So you need to press this button here below. Press it, then you can twist the aperture. I'll put it as F16 first. Okay. So take a closer look on this camera itself. Now it's from top here. As you can see, this is the shutter speed. So we can uh, turn it to the desired shutter speed and for this camera itself, the maximum will be 1 over 500. And here is the uh, aperture. So currently I'm setting it to uh, f16 at ASA 400 after I loaded the uh, black and white film. Okay, I put it to 500. Alright, now let's extend the, uh, the lens. 
So in order to extend the lens, what I need to do is just pull out again and turn it clockwise and until you hear a click sound. So at this moment here, uh, it's showing infinity or um, if this is, okay, when I turn it back here, let's, let's show it here. Okay, because this is um, zoom focusing, zoom focusing, pardon me, zoom focusing. <laughs> so this is on top, the red color is on feet, the distance, um, and below is meter. So when I turn it further, let's say if I put this arrow here to six, that means it's a uh, six feet or 20 meter so anything above six feet to 20 meter will be all in focus let's take a closer look here now this part here uh, is actually pointing negative and this is color negative and this two is the uh, slight film so if it's a black and white then you turn it to a uh, negative black and white film here and here of course as i mentioned just now is ASA 400. Now this lens I'm using is TISA 3.5. Uh, and made in uh, Singapore. It's a serial number. So this is a marker on uh, showing the first film after I uh, install it. And this is the horseshoe. So if I un, un, uh, pull it out, then I can actually pull down the whole thing here and to, in, to load the film. But I already loaded the film, so probably I'll do another uh, video on loading the film again. I realized that I just missed it out on that. But uh, yeah, this is the light meter, yeah? And uh, with this light meter, if the battery is working, then you will see a white needle here, white needle here, and it's actually matching the orange color uh, uh, meter here if the exposure is being done correctly. However, uh, I'm still waiting for my bat battery adapter to ship over. Uh, I'll be using a different external light meter. Yep. Again and again, um, how to actually collapse this lens is to press this thing here. Yep. Counterclockwise, push it back. That's simple. The bottom part of it here is a very unique design where the horseshoe is at the bottom of the camera. And this is the uh, reading on how many pictures have been taken. And this is the rewinder, the plum rewinder. Here and uh, you can collapse and insert here. Everything is so compact for this camera. Okay, let's try to load some film. Now, uh, this is the first time I load the film. I just bought this uh, recently from Shopee. Some promotion cost me about. 25 ringgit, I think. Okay. Let's do this. Oops, almost forgot. There are arrows here on this part here. So just load it there. Start it inside. One minute. Touch it. Let's see. Huh? Okay, put it here.
and then put it back and the alignment here have to align together before you push pin all right push in and then lock it okay after you lock it in and you're ready to go so um as this camera is on uh, drone focusing so everything is on this part here as you can see the arrow so if you put it to six there's two reading the top is the feet and below is meter so when you turn it all the way to six meter and this is the depth of field okay if you put here it means eight to eight and number six six meter or 20 feet and above to infinity will be all sharp if i put on f16 and one thing you need to take note and uh, for this is that the uh, shutter speed the maximum go up to 500 uh, 1 over 500 one thing about this top here this is the light meter if it's working with the battery on you actually was able to see that the white needles will actually match to the orange needle then to have the correct exposure as mentioned the uh, battery is currently not available so i actually purchased online the uh, battery adapter and lr44 however the uh, when you install that with lr44 and the battery adapter there'll be a difference of two stops uh in the exposure so you manually adjust yourself while waiting for the battery adapter and lr44 battery shipment to be arrived um, I actually attached this um, light meter by Domo so here is the uh, meter measuring and actually you can manually set it here the aperture so let's say I set it to f16 then this is the shutter speed and I will adjust accordingly on this part here of course this is the original light meter here so the way to collapse or to extend the lens is quite simple. So you pull and then clockwise, you turn it until you hear a click. That means it's fully extended. And when you want to collapse it, just press on this button here and counterclockwise, push it back. That's it. In order to change the aperture, you have to first press on this button below here and then you can turn on this part so i will set it to f16 at this moment here so everything can be read from the top when you read it yeah this part here is the type of film uh, that you put it into this camera you have color negative you have negative negative is for black and white and you have for slight film as well and on top here when you turn this, this is all the uh, shutter speed. Okay. When you compare the size of this camera and the modern camera, let's say this one, this is my Sony A1. Oh, the screen is too small <laughs> to fit my camera here. Okay. This is Sony A1 loaded, uh, attached with 24mm compared to here. See how big the size is. And let's compare it with my Nikon film camera F100. Still, this is very portable. Very, very convenient for street photography. Well, the reason I choose the black color version over silver is because uh, I've seen some of the used unit on this camera. 
uh, after a while when the paint peel off you can see a bit yellowish cuprum color yellowish color just like here the tip here if you can see yeah it's very rustic feeling compared to the silver one well compare this with my fuji x100v let's look at the size difference side by side still it's even smaller than the fuji x100b well since i have my fuji x100b with silver color so i prefer choice of this rory 35 t in black color Here again if you collapse it the lens press on this button here and then turn it anti-clockwise and push it back well that's all for today thanks for watching and see you in the next episode